With the potential Labo has, it's awesome to see the amazing things players are already making. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 coolest things people have done with Nintendo Labo. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most creative ways people are using Nintendo Labo products within its launch weekend. Hey, hey, whoa, cool, I want that one. Um, anyway, let's begin. Number 10, Labo Music Cover Factory, Various. It's a common tradition that whenever Nintendo creates an application that can make some music, some fans are eager to cover their favorite songs on it, and Labo's piano is definitely no exception. For example, YouTube user AkFamilyHome uploaded a video that's been making its way around the web where he plays Smash Mouth's All-Star on the Labo piano. Elsewhere, Jenny Wei, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, has already provided an awesome rendition of Calamari Incantation from Splatoon. Watch this spot, because there's bound to be more. Number 9, Killing Labo Man, Matteo underscore 39. Labo Man is quickly becoming another great Nintendo mascot. Although the last thing we'd ever want is to use him for target practice, with this creation, Matteo underscore 39 strapped the switch to a Wii Zapper. When the trigger is pulled, Labo Man is knocked down with a vibrating Joy-Con. So get yourself a few more Labo Mans and you got yourself an interactive Hogan's Alley. Number 8, Roulette Game, KA7. It's gonna take some time for someone to make a complex game out of Labo, but until then, we can take the time to admire the recreation of classic arcade games. Lucky for us, KA7 is recreating a few. The Test Your Strength game is pretty cool, but the best is definitely the Roulette Wheel. The game reads your wind-up to judge how quickly it should spin. If only it could spit out real prizes, too. Number 7, Bongos. SKG underscore TY. Labo is giving its users a lot of freedom in making music, both originals and covers. As for user SKG underscore TY, they've made Labo function like a pair of bongos. The craftsmanship might not be stellar, but it's still impressive to see a familiar GameCube peripheral functioning on Nintendo Switch. Now let's all pray to Reggie Fisame that Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is coming back too. Yeah, right. yeah. Excellent. Number 6, Toy Container. UPS. Labo comes with an awfully large amount of toys and accessories, so how do you expect to lug all of that around? Well, it turns out that UPS, yeah, that UPS, came up with a bright idea. Using their own materials, they designed a large cardboard box where you can store your Labo toys without crushing them. It even comes with a cardboard lock. Uh, is there any chance we can order a couple of those? Number five, a secure safe, a Yataras. Speaking of keeping things secure, Nintendo Labo could possibly keep your important items safe. We mean possibly because, well, it's cardboard, so actually definitely not. But anyway, just go with it. User Ayataros designed a safe with a six button combination, and they even created a brand new box for it. It's awesome to see it in action, but with the Switch's battery life and portability, we wouldn't put anything significantly important in there. Still, neat idea. Number four. Dog Treat Dispenser, Joba87. As much as we love our dogs, it can be a pain in the butt to get up and get them a treat. Luckily, Joba87 has found the solution to our lazy problem via Nintendo Labo. One Joy-Con activates a second Joy-Con's vibration, which lets the box drop a few bites of doggy food. Looks like we can finally relax while feeding our dogs, until the dispenser runs out of food or our Switch runs out of battery, which would definitely happen faster, but whatever. Number three, a hat trick, leaving luck. Are you a pro at cornhole? Well, this one may prove to be a bit more challenging. User leaving luck has programmed a game where you toss cards into a homemade hat. Make it five times and you win. It's simple, but we can see people having fun with this at parties. Plus you gotta admire that craftsmanship. Number two, juggle on switch, jumping green. We had a feeling that some old school Nintendo games were gonna be replicated with Labo and this user hit us right in the nostalgia. Jumping Green managed to successfully replicate the classic Game & Watch title, Juggle. 
I mean, it may not have the exact look of the handheld device, but it plays a lot like the original, which is good enough for us. However, it isn't the only Game & Watch title to be made on the Labo. Number 1. DIY Game & Watch Yumi Ikeji Like we said, Juggle wasn't the only one that made it onto Labo. User Yumi Ikeji developed an impressive recreation of Fire, one of the most addictive and stressful Game & Watch titles. We have to commend both the sound effects and how accurate the screen's layout is. Seeing this gives us hope for a new Game & Watch gallery for Switch. That are just more recreations. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.